back to the base with the friendliest place on YouTube. I'm Ted, and your host today, this fine, this fine day that is the day of today, which is Saturday. Unless you're not uh, in where I am and you're on the different side of the planet, then it might be Sunday. But uh, welcome. Welcome, everybody. This is going to be a fun stream today because we're saying goodbye to season four of Basement Craft. That's right. Basement Craft. The Minecraft server that we started a couple years ago and, and season four started like a year and a half ago. And uh, it's just been uh, living ever since. And some people started off strong at, like me and then didn't play as much. But some people stuck around through the whole season. And we're going to take a look at a lot of cool builds that people did. Uh, Zelda themed builds, non Zelda themed builds. Um, <laughs> lots of cool stuff that people did over the course of the season. But today's stream is going to be split up into three sections. The first section, I'm going to do a bunch of shout outs for everybody uh, who's here in the chat early on in the, uh, in the stream. The second segment of the stream is going to be, a, a, we're going to start that part off with a little five minute Q&A. We can ask me anything and I'll answer as many questions as I can in five minutes. And then we'll do some trivia toward the end of the stream. But all along today's stream, we're going to be hanging out in the Basement Craft server, which is a Java server, 1.19.2. And the IP address and all of that information is actually in the title of the video. So moderators, if someone asks, you say, hey, it's in the title. Uh, it's a little easier for people to find. Sometimes descriptions on streams are actually hard to get to from phone depending on like what app you're using and stuff. So I just figured I'd put it in there. So if you have Minecraft Java and you have a 1.19.2 installation, you can come in and you can hang out with us while we play today. So it'll be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and say hi to a bunch of people who are here in the chat. Um, we see, uh, if you want me to, 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 to say hi to you, to shout your name out, write the word guacamole in the chat. And then I'll just say hi to all the people who write guacamole <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> uh, I've had a great day. I went to a diner for breakfast. I had biscuits and gravy. So many people. I'm so happy to see all you folks here. I see Risk is here moderating today. Dr. Volk is here moderating today. All right. Coffee Plum, GD Cat, Luke Oles, uh, Honey Calcite. Uh, oh, there we go. There's lots of guacamoles. Holy guacamole. That's a lot of guacamoles. Uh, uh, Evie, Rosa Turrio, uh, Mr. Man FB, Fire Gamer, Scrap Fox Gaming, Brittany Hayden, Dr. Volk, Corade. Hey, Corade, you let me ride in your boat. Mark Baker, Laura Reynolds. Guacamole from Ella. Hello, Ella. Guacamole to you. <laughs> uh, Maddie and Kira, Punchy Films. Uh, Tim Wickblad. Queen Zelda, a.k.a. Ruler of Hyrule. Zelda Fan 9000. Uh, Eve Muz Muzerol. Stargazer. Rose Turriel. Uh, guacamole, guacamole, guacamole. Um, Malia, Fontaine, and Benedicte. Benedicte. Olsen. I probably butchered that name. Sorry about that, but I tried my best. Uh, Mark Baker. Let's see who else we got. Cherry Cat Meow Meow is here. Chicken One Thirty Five. Ahmed Kafafi is here. Uh, Luke Olez. Gage Man. The Spiral Boy. Hi, I play Roblox. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. If you like guacamole. Put it on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being terrible, 10 being amazing. Write that in the chat if you like guacamole. Or, or if you don't, I suppose, just put a number 1. Guacamole for Poop Shark. Yes, big pork chops in the house. Mandy Miller. Uh, Brendan is here. And Evie is here. And uh, who else? Who else we got? Welcome, everybody. Gravy Dre. Gravy Dre. Aha. Zelda fan 9000, you don't need a shout out. I've uh I'm, I think I'm pretty sure I've said your name a few times over the course of the years this with streams and stuff. You know, it's silly. I mean, I mean, I I get it. I understand. It is cool. Like when I when I pop into like a Mr. A game stream, I do like him saying like, "Oh, hey, the basement. 
It's like, oh, I feel special now. But each and every one of you, whether I say your name or not, of course, is special. And uh, keep coming back to these streams. Eventually, I'll see your name <laughs> and we'll say hi. And, it's, it, you know, if you hang around and you chat and you talk, and uh, if I happen to glance over at the chat, sometimes I'll see a conversation happening and I'll talk back and forth with some of you folks. Um, that's just how streams are. And uh, the more the merrier, in my opinion. Sage Green, welcome. And Magic, is season four ending today? Yes. So here's how Basement Craft is going down. We're going to wrap up season four today. We're going to have some fun events. We're going to look at some cool builds. And then we're going to close down Basement Craft for one week. Stay tuned for announcements about uh, details and stuff in the Discord, as well as here on the YouTube channel, probably a community post or two. We'll talk about it, but we're starting a new server called Hyrule Craft for Zelda fans, and it's going to be a Bedrock and a Java server, so both can play together. So if you have Minecraft on your Switch and Nintendo Online, you can play on the server on your Switch, which will be great. I'm really excited about that because I know not everybody has a gaming PC that they have access to to be able to play Minecraft with us. And this is just going to be a lot more fun, I think. So stay tuned for that. But that is going to start next Saturday. Hyrule Craft is going to launch next Saturday. So I got my work cut out for me to get it all finished up and ready and polished up for all you guys. Um, a few of you community members are helping with that process. So a huge thank you to you who are helping set up Hyrule Craft so that it's fun for everybody. Uh, yes, Hyrule Craft for the win, guys. <laughs> okay, let's see how guacamole is rating. 20, a billion, 10, 0. Corey does not like guacamole. Uh, Mr. Man FB's got an 11 for the guacamole ratings. I'm surprised. There's not a lot of... It seems like it's a love it or hate it kind of thing. People are like, oh my gosh, it's either above 7 or below 2. I'm not seeing any 4s or 5s. Guacamole is just not one of those things that people consider mid, I guess. <laughs> um, this is going to be guacamole. Guacamole is so good. Is there a guacamole? There's not a... Well, there's an avocado emoji, isn't there? Dude, guacamole is so good. But here's what I had for breakfast. Everybody in the chat, put what you had for breakfast. I had biscuits and gravy with fried eggs on top covered in hash browns. It's called a haystack. Mm. So good. Had some tomato juice. Had a little date. Ted, did you get a haircut? Something looks different. Uh, I packed all my hair underneath my hat, so maybe that's it. Also, it's um, daylight is coming through a window <laughs> in my office. Normally, I have a window shut, so maybe you're seeing like just a brighter, more, I don't know, jovial Ted. Waffles, granola, good answers, good answers, eggs and toast, pancakes and eggs, muffin blueberry, wow, breakfast, breakfast burrito using leftovers, smart, donut, eggs, lot, lots of, I'm not, oh, there we go, there's cereal, Zelda had cereal for breakfast, I remember when cereal was like everybody's answer always, hi, I play Roblox, is playing Tears of the Kingdom right now, Evie, I see you had guacamole for breakfast. Or are you just saying guacamole? <laughs> um, or Evie, maybe. Maybe not Evie, but Evie. Uh, McDonald's egg and sausage and one of their smoothies. Ooh. Luke had cereal. Tim, only coffee. It is the breakfast of champions. It is air pudding. Oh, sad. Does that mean nothing? And Evie does not like guacamole. All right, so remember, every once in a while, streams can get behind. So if you're feeling like you're you're chatting things and it doesn't line up with the stuff that I'm saying or we're talking about, check and make sure that your stream is caught up to date. Let's get into the game. Let's get into the server and have ourselves a little bit of fun. Just a little bit of fun. Maximize this screen. Switch to this. Oh, I forgot how beautiful and how wonderful. So this this was my uh, my kind of base throughout the whole season. I built a little fortress in the hangy upside downy nether 
check this out. Pretty cool. And I think I had uh, a way down. I don't even remember what's down here. I think it's just more base. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bridge that went across. Very neat. Oh, my gosh. I got so much stuff. But this uh, this was my, my home base right here. So, uh, yeah, anybody who wants to come and check it out, you can pop right on over right now. I'm going to turn on TP Auto for a second. So anybody who wants to come and uh, hang out in my base, you can do... Oh, hey, it's a dog. Is that one poop or shark? I don't know. I guess we'll never know. Hey, Magic, welcome to my base. And Great Gaming Game, welcome to my base. I'm going to go up here. I got to drop off my... Uh, my, my stuff in my inventory. I have too much stuff. You guys, I found, uh, not this season, I think it was season three of Basement Craft, I found the design for the quickest, easiest sorting machine ever. And it just, it works so, so well. Pretty sure we just put our inventory that we don't want into here. And it'll start working should should start working yep you see it's emptying out the rails it's slower than faster versions but this this thing is so so good and it's cheap that's the thing that's important early game you want to have a cheap system for um for organizing all of your stuff okay i'm gonna get my things organized here can take off that hat put on this one and uh whoa hearing a few things go crazy so my question is does ted have any heads do i have any ted heads no i do not okay i'm gonna grab my elytra and uh we'll go ahead and put that in there grab my rockets what's up wow we got a lot of people hanging out in my base chaffee's here too chaffee is one of the folks who uh stuck around through the whole season and was on just constantly and it was quite cool you're at og spawn for any of the originally original crew all right let's start our uh, tour by going to spawn guys so um Oops. There we go. Thank you, Big Pork Chop, for helping us get to spawn. Ah, look how beautiful this is. I'm going to extend my draw distance just a little bit because that way everybody can see. And I think I'm going to turn on night vision as well so everybody in the stream can also see. But let's see. Let's do... Oops, that's simulation distance. We want render distance to be... at. 12 how about that so when this season started we thought it would be fun to have um the basement craft spawn island start in the nether and have like a big convoluted quest system to to give us access to the surface just to kind of change things up and the uh the community here the basement craft community was incredible and accomplished all of these things from the nether side in order for us to actually gain access to the surface. So we had to make an anvil, which, I mean, think about it. You can't just get iron in the nether very easily. Double chests of potatoes. And every time that they would unlock one of these, they would get a, they would get a clue, a word, added to the sign to help solve a riddle and then when the riddle was solved it would be uh, they'd be able to build a special portal that could actually get uh to the top to i didn't vote for it hey listen when i say we i mean me <laughs> and it ended up being fun we had a lot more activity on the server early on i think didn't we not all are complete yet oh well, i think you guys solved the riddle before Are you sure not all are create? I'm pretty sure we completed them all. Maybe one or two didn't, but you guys just figured out the word. But um, these were some pretty 
cool challenges to see people uh, complete with the limited resources that are here in the nether. Then, uh, uh, we're, we as you can see, we're in a pink basement couch, which that's weird, right? Because basement couches are always green. There's never any situation in which they're pink. If you want to join in with us, you got to have a Java, uh, Minecraft Java version 1.19.2, and then follow the IP address that is in the title of the video. So, uh, one of the first things that just to kind of recap it for everybody who, um, wasn't here or didn't kind of watch the early years or early, early days of this server. We kind of built a, a small community over here to, uh, to all thrive and exist together. And just, just so you know, be careful because, whoa, there's so many people walking around. This is great. We built this little community house and people were sharing resources and it was a lot of fun. People, uh, Josh died apparently and um, people were smelting things and there was the community anvil was here at one point. Maybe it's over here now. It must have gotten broken and never repaired. Hey, Dio. <laughs> and then... Um, Yes, be careful. It's uh, you can die here. This is not. Uh, <laughs> I see Link running around. Yo, <laughs> it's Link from the Great Sky Islands. But then, um, kind of like mob proofed this area at least somewhat. Um, still, pig piglins would show up in here all the time and kill us. It looks like we finally did get it actually safe here, though. So that's cool. Hey, this was a uh, cat's house. Look at that. I have Prox voice on. Here, I'm turning off. Whoa, coffee plums got my head. Hello. <laughs> but yeah, this is really cool. Everybody kind of working together to try to survive. Um, meanwhile... I got Peter to play a little bit. Let's go visit his um, his little house that he ended up setting up. I think he was down below underneath over here. Maybe even further down. Mm, not that far down, maybe. Hmm. Where was Peter's house? I know it was at like one of these levels here. Nope, not there. Hey, Momotomo joined the server. Welcome. Hmm. Oh, now we're up too high. He was definitely below this island. And I want to say he was, like, painfully close. It was kind of like, really, Peter? You're going to build right underneath that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Being attacked. Can we find Peter's tiny little hovel? Oh no, somebody already bit the dust. That's not good. Well, you guys will just have to believe me that Peter did set up a house somewhere. I just don't remember where. He had like a weird little tunnel going somewhere, but yeah, I don't think it was over here oh maybe it was down here how many people do we have on the server right now holy camoli 
you know where Peter's overworld house is when we go topside. Yeah. Oh, there's little light. Oh, here. I found it. I found it. This is Peter's house. <laughs> and <he> whoa. <laughs> and let's see what's even in here. This is so sad. Oh, there's a little piece of ancient debris there. <laughs> and he had a. Oh, yep. Here's his how to claim land book. Ooh, what did Peter have going on down here? Oh, this is where he would go and hunt for debris, I bet. I wonder what's down here. Oh, he had a little room. <laughs> Peter's really excited to play on the next season. Um, once we start the Hyrule Craft stuff. Mainly because he can play on his Switch. And I don't, I don't understand the allure of that. But I'm going to go ahead and trust him on it. Let's keep going down. Let's see what what he got up to. Oh, that was it. <laughs> Look at that. Look at Peter's uh, progress. I, I, I'm, I'm tempted to not even call it progress because that's pretty sad. But. Oh, Peter never even hunted for debris. Yeah, Peter didn't like the whole... Peter was with Dio on this. He didn't like the whole being stuck in the nether thing. I thought it was clever. I thought it was fun. You know, it added like an air of danger to the whole thing. I thought it was great. But some people had plans of what they wanted to do. And so, you know, there's always next season, which starts next week. So let's go back to the uh, spawn island here. Um, big deal shopping upside down. Okay. <laughs> Someone's going to get me killed. <laughs> well, hello. Welcome to basement craft in the basement. Also try Terraria. Hey, it's Princess Zelda in her uh, Tears of the Kingdom garb. All right, this is the little village where we've been hanging out. I got to figure out how to get back to the uh, to the world spawn, the Nether, the Nether spawn. Um, let's see here. Everybody worked together to make an incredibly awesome shopping district inside of this large piglin base. You had uh, shopping by the, the pig statue. You had shopping in the jail room. Dark Pigworts Mall. <laughs> yes. And uh, yeah, this this uh, the server has a, has an economy system. You can turn in diamonds to get dollars, and then you can spend your dollars to buy things from people. And this shopping area was really cool. Oh, look, people were making paintings all all season. Pandas. Warden tag 2.0, a subscribe button. Hey, if you haven't already, subscribe to the basement. Oh, Rusty. That's right, Rusty was in this server. He got pretty busy with school, but Rusty was here. A like and share map button. These are great. This map art is wonderful. I like the pandas. Ah, so cute. So we had the shopping district. This was cool. Bat's shop is oh, Bat Chicklets had a shop over here. The top shop. I'm gonna go up to the top shop. Make a giant basement sofa. We have a giant basement sofa. Honeycomb, paper, two stacks, emerald, 
Totems of Undying. Ooh. This is a pretty intense shop over here. The Top Shop. I ate the cake. Man, these these bases were pretty fun to clear out this season with the deadly, deadly piglins and stuff that were in here. You're welcome for the compliments on your art, Big Pork Chop. It was wonderful. Oh, poor puppy. Um, okay. Then, back to basement spawn. Whoop. The next season is going to have the multiverse portals uh, as well. So we, we're going to be able to make these cool custom portals that take us between spawn and different stuff. This was the art world where map art could be made over there. And um, yeah, I'm going to turn TP auto off for a second. Um, and uh Big pork chop. Do you want to take me on a take me on a, a flight to remember? And uh, show me some of the cool other stuff that was built. And I'll just sort of follow you around. Whee. We'll see if this works. Where to? Um, how about to? Well, that's probably going to be later on in the stream, isn't it? With the with the champions hall. Let's. Why don't you? Why don't you show me some of the cool stuff? Because you you're probably you probably know where all of the cool stuff is. First, Ted, come to me. Yes, big pork chop. These swords are the last task. The last task to be tasked. Oh, Wither's Bane. An ancient blade to smite the impurity from the nether. And warping Wither, wither Blade. For in life all things return to death, and death all things return to the shadow of... Whoa. Okay. That's cool. These need to be hung up and commemorated. Item frame. So these are like super rare items that uh that had to be found where were they powered rail new location mending helmets wow that is also all the other things were built in the overworld i would say dio or josh should take it from here all right well if dio or and or josh are ready to take me on a tour. We should do that. Kristen, mod uh, chat commands and bot aren't working. Oh, uh, thank you for letting me know. The Yeah, the uh, night bot is acting up. And I have to either find a new way to do that. <laughs> or, um, or fix it somehow. 
but I got the other commands working now, Kristen. Thank you so much for letting me know. And I'm sorry you had to do a super chat to get my attention over there. She fights for us. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Dio, are you still are you showing your base? If so, go first. Dio didn't make a base this year. Okay, I'll go because we'll end up at games. <laughs> Dio has a hole in the ground. I remember your hole in the ground, Dio. <laughs> cool. Josh, should I uh, warp to you? All right, sounds good, Josh. I will meet you at spawn. Whoop. All right. Cha Josh, then Bat and Cat, then our base, then Games, then Champions Hall. That's perfect. That's a perfect... Uh-oh, Josh just disappeared. He was right here, and then I lost him. And I can uh, do TPs and stuff to get around to folks, so. Let's see here. So, where we go? Josh gets lost. Ted gets lost. Overworld portal. Okay, cool. Perfect. Go to the overworld portal now. Woohoo. Cool. And then um, one of the events that I want to do during this, too, at some point, is play some prop hunt. Unless it broke or something, but I think it's still working. Wait. Wait. This, this is a creepy place to spawn. There's blocks in the way. Oh. There's a warden nearby, so it's all dark. This is Josh's base. Oh, there he is. He's a tree over here. I found Josh. It's dark and there's a birch tree. Wait, this is Peter's base? <laughs> Did someone bring a warden here? <laughs> this is Peter's base. This is totally what he does. He puts these little weird like islands for trees. Famous Tree Island, yeah. Stay here, puppy. <laughs> Peter has friends. <laughs> the trees are his friends. <laughs> I wonder where that warden is, though. Okay, time to see Skyfall. Yeah. Josh had a cool sky base. Yep, I on purpose have TPA off right now for myself, so that way no none of these bases that we're seeing get, like, destroyed on accident. Okay. Josh kind of showed me around. This is... This is like a whole town. It reminds me of um, Hill Valley from Back to the Future a little bit. Save the clock tower!
<laughs> a sheep factory with a sheep on the floor. I love it. Oh, those poor sheep. They're so bald and cold. Dude, we got little water islands here. Yes, if you guys want to TP to uh, Dio, you can play games in the game district. Oh, it's a floating iron farm. Where do they die, though? Oh, they fall down and they... Oh, that's cool. That's an interesting... That's an interesting one. The torchbearer, Nigel the map maker. <laughs> Whoa, boy. <laughs> Mayor McCheese. What's he doing here? Oh, is this your um villager? No, he's just there for fun. Or maybe, I don't know. <laughs> this whole town you could go to school. Wait, no, this is judge and jury, the council, the city council, the council of five. <laughs> ah. Oh, it's a it's a bathroom. I thought I, I thought I was Mew. <laughs> it's a mirror. That's a clever that's a very clever contraption <laughs> dude the stuff that people build okay through the doors the masons are having a meeting <laughs> the secret society <laughs> the stone cutters. Ooh, what is this? Your unfinished subway. Man, if I had an unfinished subway, I would eat it right now. Some subway sandwich. Oh, yeah, I see that. It was finished up to here, and now it is not finished anymore. This whole town, this is impressive. Try to keep up with him here and see where he's going. Are we landing here on this? What is that sound? Oh, a creeper farm. Is that water being poured? Is that what I'm hearing? It must be. This is an interesting looking creeper farm. I don't think I've seen this design before. Looks like the DC subway, as it's always under construction. <laughs> this is cool, seeing your little village from down here. There's a portal next to the games tower that can take you to the spawn. Yep. It's a crispy portal. TP to BPC. Okay. You talking to me?
I'll just keep following you until you hand me off to somebody else, Josh. <laughs> hey, did my music stop? I need to fix that. Wonderful. Ooh, okay. Untamed horses for the Ribbon Park Trail. Nice, so this is a, uh... ooh. This is cute. I like this. Follow the path. It is what Chaffee built. This is so pretty. Nice little trail. What if it ends in lava and I die? Oh, it keeps going. Whoa. It's a nice little view of the different biomes that we've got represented in this. <laughs> Great gaming game comes around the corner running into trees. Oh. Yeah, we had like these geyser areas. Hey, Chaffee! This is wonderful! Ted, it goes to my base. Oh, really? You passed me off to Chaffee. Okay. Shrain, shrain, shrain. All right, Chaffee. Gerudo, shrain, All right, shrain, Chaffee. shrain. Where are we going? All the way to the end. Okay. Woo! Oh, that's awesome. Anybody know what that is? Throw it in the chat if you know what that is. Oh, this. This is intense. Whoa. Dude, I gotta go see out see this thing. ATAT -AT Walker, yep. We got a few uh pumpkins and watermelons growing down there, just a couple. Got some mining operations for different things. following Chaffee. Yeah, I was going to say this village on this side looked familiar. It looked like it was my really... Yeah, there's my terrible iron farm that stinks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. This brings back some good memories. This is my overside base. I just took over this entire village <laughs> and made it my own. This was my villager uh, little shop. <laughs> oh yeah, I blocked it off to keep it from safe from zombies. Hello! I never named these guys, I just enslaved them. And then down here was the villager, oh, wait, this is a tunnel. It went to my lava factory. Oh man, <laughs> it's been so long. 
this was where I kind of kept all my goodies. I am going to miss these bundles, these bundle packs that were in this, uh, in this mod. Whenever you watch the basement, you always get the voices mixed up. Just remember that the one that sounds more smooth and delightful is Peter's voice. Wait, what is this up here? Oh yeah, I was kind of basing with my, my son was playing with me a little bit and he, he had started a nice big temple base thing up here. He got pretty far in it. He did the shiny floor thing though. And that's his sorting mechanism. Giant throne. Ah, I sit on a throne of lies. It does look like a temple of time kinda. Yeah. Micah's talented. He's only gotten better, too, in the last, you know, year. What's next, Chaffee? People are playing in the PvP arena right now. I'm so excited for uh, Hyrule Craft. We have a PvP plugin that allows people to make arenas uh, in a lot easier fashion. They can set up cool room rules like. So PvP isn't on, it's just only on in certain arenas, certain areas. I think it's about, that's it about the base. Did I go inside your base? I did not, I need to go and see. So let's fly there. Follow the trail. Wow. I love the AT AT. That is so cool. Oh, we got a pirate ship. This is a creeper farm. Wow, and quite a creeper farm too. Look at this thing. One, two, three, four, five, six floors. And that is so in depth, wow. Gotta eat some more of my carrots. Let's go to the games district. Turning TP Auto back on because there's plenty to do in the games district. Yeah, there are sky islands all over uh, in here. Some really, really cool places. So the games district has a ton of cool games. Uh, Dio built a bunch of these. I don't know who all built all of them, but. <laughs> like and subscribe, like and share. <laughs> 
Looks like there's some folks hanging out in the uh, PvP arena. Hey, it's Cat from Dad and Cat. Yo, how you doing, Cat? <laughs> Just shooting him from the outside. Um. Okay, TP to Chaffee. Oh, am I supposed to... Or fly, that's good. So we have to go inside. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah. Oh, I love the flowers. Oh, this, the decoration in here is so good. Love the art on the walls. Y'all have really, uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> This is cool. Can I go down here? Oh! Whoa. What do we got here? This is... Oh, is that a potato farm? Yes. Are they only doing potatoes? Potatoes, 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 potatoes? Yeah, we could probably do like a whole bunch of screenshots a little bit later in the stream. Right now we're hanging out, looking at people's builds. This is awesome. We got plenty of beacons around here too. This is so much work as <laughs> we gone into this. Let's see, what are we checking out next? Where's Poop Shark? Oh, let's go look at Poop Shark. Take a look at Poop Shark from a distance. Here's the beauty of Poop Shark in all of his glory. Oops, I still failed at it. I had to turn off that uh, schematic placement. I'm going to get a little higher here. Probably best way to do is fly. There's Poop Shark. Everybody knows him. Everybody loves him. Poop Shark 2024. Pick up your Poop Shark, Poop Shark t-shirt. Before supplies run out. <laughs> oh, and hey, here's our terrible monstrosity we made that's not too far away. There he is. Quick poop shark flyby. Hello, Red Ninja of Fire. Good to see you. This 
Did anybody end up playing Leaf the Leaf game? Ooh. What is this? Fill up your team's point gauge with the redstone lamps on the left of the side of the field. Snow Pong. How to reset the score if there are any redstone lamps turned on. Reset this using the center reset game switch. Flip until all lamps are turned on. Snowballs from any available barrel. One team presses the serve button. This will set the flying machine to the center of the field and make a ding. What? How did you even program this? Dio, this is incredible. How'd you get the flying machine to, to like be able to know where center is and stuff? Ah, snowball fight. Wow. And I think um, we already have Pong got put back into, got placed in Hyrule Craft already too. And no one ever plays it. No one ever plays it. How, how is it played? I guess I don't quite remember. Reset the game, turn on then off. I'm guessing you probably need to have like a little bit of organization. <laughs> so you need snowballs. Do you hit it with snowballs to knock it back? Hey, it's mom of cat. Hello, mom of cat. I'm hearing dinging. This is, I see these light up depending on how many points your team has. Oh, that was the go. Oh, it's going. Oh, you got to hit the target. If you hit the target, it goes the other way. Oh. Yeah, I'm not trying to play. I'm just watching. Okay, I'm going to go over here. Behind the glass to play. Basically, you throw snowballs. So then to play, you hit the reset button. Oh, 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 never mind, never mind. We don't hit that button. It's coming back. So they're throwing snowballs at it right now. Oh, it had been returning to the middle. Gotta hit it on this side to get to go back. Oh, 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 there's scores going up like crazy right now.
interesting. What a contraption. And somehow that's sending redstone signal like wirelessly up through the floor that charges up those lights. <laughs> oh, we serve. Okay, it's we served it. So now it's heading back. Oh, cool. So I wonder why it has to be the ancient debris on there, or if that's just a, you chose any block, so you figured you might as well choose a rare one. That's, that's incredible. I'm excited to play more of that in the next uh, season. Oh, it's all underground. The signals are all underground. Well, then how is the... Uh, how is hitting these targets doing anything if the signals are all underground? Oh, unless it's like a track that it's running inside of that thing. Okay. That's impressive. This beacon got busted. Drop zone is out of order. Yeah, some of these games are uh, a little fragile. But they do work if they uh, get repaired once in a while. Come past the PvP arena uh, to the little elevator. Okay. Past the PvP arena to the little elevator. Heading there right now. The little yellow vader. <laughs> Yes. Oh, the banners. <gasps> Josh. Yes. Oh, the walk up to this is like Disney World. Look at this. Warden tag 2.0. Oh, oh, oh. Caution. Live wardens. Warden tag rules and records. No armor, no potions or tops effects set spawn below. No hitting wardens, no breaking or placing blocks. Timer starts when you enter the elevator. No food with effects. Four corners, one timed run, all four colors. One to four player, light it up. Timed run, all four colors nine times. One player or multi versus up to four teams. Split the colors based on team number. <laughs> hey, that's themed. <laughs> it's basement themed. Don't get dead now mode. One player only, no timer. Total points before first death must fill all 36 lights. No stealing tokens, no cheating. Yeah, the, the thing that is great about these games is that 
you can build them. The, the thing that's hard about it is enforcing certain rules, right? No holding more than one token at a time must return tokens. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, that, there, there have to be rules. Otherwise, it can be broken, right? You can, like, go in there and just kill the wardens or, like, placing blocks to break it or whatever, right? This is cool, though. And we got records. More detailed rules. Ooh. Swack. <laughs> almost filled it. Almost did it. Records. Four corners. One player times. Ooh. We got a beat beast. Great gaming game with a 10. Wow. That's impressive. Great gaming game. Oh, this is so scary. <laughs> yeah, the block break in place is going to be helped with claims. I think there are probably ways that we can, using World Guard, we can probably make a lot of these things be automatic in, uh, in Hyrule Craft. Because I think we can set all of this stuff. We can, like, have, like, inventories get emptied and... There are all sorts of cool stuff with that. Maybe we could use the arena plugin to make it happen. Do we want to try a two team game real quick? Yeah, let me put all my stuff in a something. Is there a, like a ender chest nearby? Let's do it. I'm guessing there's an end chest here. Yes, we're gonna play warden tag guys. I'm gonna have my night vision on so that way um, the stream can see what's happening. Um, not responsible for lost or stolen items. Well. Um, oh. Okay, let's see if I can pull out. Uh, I just gotta put in the important stuff. Elytra, fancy bow. Sure, everything else, everything else can go. All right, no armor. Oh, I gotta take off all my armor. This game is only fun if you follow the rules, guys. Otherwise, it's not fun at all. Make sure you don't have any blocks with you or anything. Oh my gosh, Warden Tag, Real Warden Tag 2.0. This is my first time playing Real Warden Tag 2.0. All right, anybody who wants to play Warden Tag 2.0, quick TP to me. Uh, I'm gonna turn TP Auto off in just a second here. Not responsible. Oh, and set your spawn using a bed. Yeah. Woohoo! There's a pink, blue team, and a red, yellow team. All right, so a pink blue team and a red yellow team. Well, I'll be on the pink blue team, I guess, because I'm here already. I guess I don't know how to do it. <laughs> okay, so the the way that this works is you try to survive, and the warden, the wardens are running around and they're trying to kill you. <laughs> 
survive to the lower corners of the arena, get a token from the shulker, return to the top middle. Oh, okay. Lower corners, get a token, return to the top middle, but only take one token. Go by Ted for pink blue. Okay. Winner gets a Ted head. Yeah, this was completely built in survival mode. It was designed in a in a creative mode, but built in built in in this. Pop tarts are overprocessed garbage. The fruit filled ones have something like 0.5 percent fruit. Well, yeah, but that's what makes it. Swedish fish aren't actually fish, but they're amazing. Okay, and then if you want to be on uh, Josh's team who built this, go over by Josh. Just so you guys know, like I'm going to be bad at this. If you want to win, you don't want to be on my team. <laughs> so count us down in chat. Oh, okay. Cool. Sounds good. And then you go in the elevator on the side. Oh, I see. So this is this is our elevator to go in. Right over here. Okay. Go in your team's elevator in three, two, one. Go! Wee! Wait, I can't go in the elevator. My elevator doesn't work. Arrows? down <laughs> what oh up we gotta go up we gotta go up over here <laughs> we gotta go up <laughs> oh I get it well this isn't so bad oh gosh Oh, I'm being shot at. Okay, there's people running around down in here. Oh, this is bad news, bears. Oh, they're everywhere. There's no wardens chasing me, right? Oh, there's one right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're in the rooms. Okay, I'm gonna run this way. I'm gonna follow the people. <gasps> oh! Train, train, train. I'm stuck. Oh, a mushroom room. Oh, got somebody's head. Purple gag's head. Ah! Whoa. Whoo. Oh no, I can't get out. Oh, I gotta climb. <gasps> get me out of there. Gnarly bison. Um, red token. I got a token. Oh, I see. Oh, I got shot, but I survived. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay. If you're on my team, you got to go up the up arrow. I did it wrong, though. I went, <laughs> somehow I found the red token, not the uh, pink token. How do you know which, oh, yellow pink. I get it.
but I'm confused. Oh, the wardens are everywhere. This reminds me of being at like blue on the left. Oh. Oh! <laughs> that came out of nowhere. So you're going to look for either a pink or a yellow or a red or a blue token, depending on what team you're on. There's pink, blue. So we're looking for pink and blue. And we're bringing those up here, I guess. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. Ah. Oh, hey, a door. Okay. We're pink and blue, so we need the blue one. Okay, I don't think he heard me. Ooh. Oh no, there's sonically charged shrieking happening everywhere. Okay, this is the blue. I got the blue token. Now we just need to get back up to the top without dying. Easier said than done. Oh no, I died! I just carry the blue token and I died. So if I go to the blue area, I'll find the blue door, maybe. Blue, oh, the floor shows you where you're going. No, that's blue all the way around. Pink, okay, well, I guess we're going pink. All right, I'm in the pink room. Pink token's already gone. Okay, I gotta go find the blue token. Oh, there's a warden in there. Okay, pink, blue, pink. Oh, yellow, I get it. To the observation deck so I don't understand okay up is over here oh. blue is this way I think okay and last time I ended up in the pink Door, so I'm gonna go this way and turn left Let's see if I end up somewhere different Okay, I got a pink door again. I don't want pink
the sounds, man. Oh, this is so intense. Oh, that's a way out. Need the blue door. Aha! Okay, that warden's way over there. Oh, shoot. That warden's exactly where I need to be, though. Dude, I love these different themed rooms of doom. These doom rooms. Oh, coffee's got blue. Good. You just got to get up to the ceiling. He's mad at somebody else. Wait, what what's what room is this? There's no there's nothing in here except a warden to eat me. Oh. Oh. Do that. Oh, with this many people. You can kind of get by them without them noticing that you're there. Can't hear me. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> This place is so dangerous. I think all the tokens have been collected. Hey, I found a hat. Oh, there's no warden in here. Mm, might have spoken too soon. So many dead people's heads right here. Oh, hello. There's the warden. Mm. Just gotta make it to the door. Oh! Game over. Red and yellow have returned. Oh, that that game is intense with all the wardens like chasing and <laughs> Mom of Cat was slain by Peter and Ted's negligence. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh that's pretty pretty awesome Let's get my stuff back here wow surprisingly all my stuff is still there Well, what are we doing now? Uh, maintenance? Nope, that's the wrong door. Uh, observation deck? Sure, let's go up here. Yeah, that was that is pretty crazy. 
I'm excited because I happen to know that Warden Tag 2.0 is added into Hyrule Craft. Ooh, the observation deck. Oh, this is cool too. Just being up here. Hey, there's Dio. Just watching everybody struggle. This is the content you come to the basement to see. <laughs> it's true. Hey, a Ted head. I can wear my own head. Yeah, guys, don't wreck stuff. Woo. Whoa! Look on top of a warden. Oh. All right, what are we doing next, guys? This is the original warden tag here. Let us move on to some other activities. Um, TP Auto. There, are we getting everybody here? There we go. Whoa! <laughs> hey, we're all here now. Holy camoly. Sorry. <laughs> I accidentally warped everybody to myself. <laughs> But hey, look at look at all of us. Here, real quick, let's take a group photo. Look up at the camera. Okay, I'm going to try to get everybody in the shot. There we go. Almost. Oh, some people are moving out of the shot. <laughs> Look at that. We got Purple Gag Cat and a Cat of Dad and Cat, Lou of the Moth, Fat Chickless, Mom, uh, Mom of Cat, Red Ninja Fire, Subdued Opossum, Great Gaming Game, Coffee Plum, Big Pork Chop, uh, Dio, 118 Craft Chaffee's over there. Oh, we're missing... Oh gosh, I can't even see. There's so many names. This is awesome. Miss Pila's here. There's it switched. Wow. Bat Chicklets. Yo. Um, hey, didn't uh, Cat and Bat have a base that I'm supposed to go see at some point here? <laughs> that was a great group picture. <laughs>
Yay, I'll, uh, I'll TP to you. My TP auto is off. Ooh, this is a cool place for a base. Did you build that or was that naturally occurring? Lots of cats, they're cute. Oh wait, where did Bat go? I'm guessing Bat's trying to show me stuff. That was all naturally occurring. Wow. That is, what a cool find. This is a really cool place to build a base. It's like a volcano. There's Bat. It's a cool little village you got on Ice Little Iron Guy. Hello, Iron Guy. This is great. Little automatic sheep wool farm. I love the roads, like the pathways around here all so like well thought out and organized <laughs> oh each of these is a little this is this makes the uh, teal wool and this makes the pink wool and this one makes the lime green wool each of them has their own little house and then if you want the wool I suppose you go down that's awesome if you need that color you just go and get it That's a cool way to like make a village useful, right? Like make little houses and then put cool stuff in them. Uh oh. Oh no. What have I done? There, I fixed it. And then if you ever need to know where the center of town is, you just find the beacon and you just head back. This is great. Hey, I fixed the crops, Big Pork Chop. This must be Cat's house. Meow. Meow. This cat is eating the books. That's a naughty kitty. the villager farm this is so smart just have a little town and have all the different things that you need organized neatly within them what's he doing oh wow what's this guy doing how ow, ow. Uh, there we go what's in here oh all of these guys you can trade with Somehow I ended up getting these berries. <laughs> this is a pretty great base bat. It's so cool seeing the completely different layouts and, and uh, stuff that everybody did. <laughs> the chat. E. 
It's over there. Oh, we got end trees. Got lots of sheep here. Two blue beds. That's cool. This looks like maybe an iron farm. Yep, I hear a zombie. No, you're do you're being a great host. You're just letting me check it all out. <laughs> IRL dogs can sometimes cause problems. Ooh, and you got your librarians. That's this is so cool because like you did it in a way where it's not like you have what you need. You have the the villagers that'll give you books, and you have you know the books you want, and you've got the iron farm and and all that stuff. But it's they're all they're kind of like organically placed. Because yeah, you got your mending villager, and he's just like chilling in a library instead of you know stuck behind a little uh, podium like I have. <laughs> Let's go to Great Gaming Games Place. Yeah, GGG. Show me. Oh, TP to you. I gotta take a look at this island in the middle of the volcano. So cool looking. What's under here? Oh, we got... Ooh, some stuff's being deposited into... Oh, cactus farm? Like This is just so... I love that uh, you, you, like, made it pretty. <laughs> like, I have a hard time doing that. I, I tend to always make my stuff functional but ugly. <laughs> All right. TPing to great gaming game. I'm here. Subscribe, like, and share. Oh, fire. Check out the chests. Oh. Whoa. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. Wait, that's my that's my uh, R.I.P. parrot. <laughs> wow, got some good stuff. Wait, you just burnt the dragon egg? Why? Why would you do such a thing? I didn't even see what was going on. That's terrible. We'll have to rewind this. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> you kind of killed your parrot. Why? <laughs> your parrot murderer. Brock, stop killing me, Brock. Oh yeah, we're over here again by the ATAT. Cause you based sort of close to Big Pork Chop. Whoa. Why not get rid of it on the last day? It's true, and it will be back in sort of circulation when uh, you guys have the world downloadable. What's this? Oh, a secret tunnel through the mountains. 
and die. The only dumb thing you can do here is not listen to the mod. This is true. Ooh. I found a secret underground factory? This is cool. If you go under our base area, you'll get lost. There's a lot going on down there. I, you know, I believe it. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! It's all like plowed out. Dude! <laughs> GGG is on the ashes list. No dragon egg for either of them. Yeah, they've lost their dragon privileges. How about checking out the end? I suppose we loaded loaded it pretty decently now at this point. Yeah, how about uh, one of you guys go to the end portal and I'll TP to you. This is so much mining. This must have been mined with a machine. Very much like BPC to just get all of the diamonds out of an area. Any basement dweller is a friend of mine. Okay, I'm going to TP to Dio. Dio, I'm entrusting this with you. Because it should not have been burned to a crisp. I resurrected it. <laughs> Dio now has a dragon egg if anybody wants it. <laughs> okay, uh, you're at the end portal. This is... Oh, oh! Oh, I just realized this is too much power for one person. <laughs> exactly. This is so weird. This looks not like the end portal. I had no idea where we were. It's all endy. Endified. Ugh, spider farm. Gross. All right, here we go. Eee! Oh! Oh! Ooh, welcome to the end dimension. Turn around for an Enderman farm. Cool. I did some stuff to get rid of the end frames. Oh, these farms always what they're just dying oh haha <laughs> yeah die all of you haha <laughs> get out of here whoa there's a lot of dead enderman bodies now
Whoa. Okay. This is all cool and decorated here, too. <laughs> yeah, the Enderman farm got built way after everybody got geared up because we didn't even have the overworld for the first, what, month or so of the server? Ooh, there's a bridge. Where does this go? Oh, this goes back to the in somewhere out there Bat built a shulker farm. Oh, cool. Are there any other big builds and stuff that I need to see before we do uh, kind of the, the champion's hall stuff? Tops, leaders, diamond leader, potatoes, green glass, sneaky, oh, 177,000 blocks sneaked. Watch out, Skywatcher. Oh, survived. He took him out. Ugh. Well, let's check out that arena. Um, um, actually, I don't know if I've got a way to get to the spawn point. Oh, wait, no, I do. See you later, Evie. We'll be here next Saturday. There we go. For some reason, it wasn't warping me to the shopping district. But this is a quick way to get back to spawn. So let's head there. Oh, some people died here. I thought the season was ending after summer, so I checked out. Yeah, we're going to do seasons a little differently in the future, I think, too. One of the things I'm not going to do is uh, just up try to update every season. Because I realize that that is way too much work. <laughs> and it just makes it so we don't start a new season. Um... All right, we're back here at the base. Big pork chop. Do you want to show me where where this uh, arena is, or the area? Did you say area or arena? Okay, let's follow him. Woohoo! There we go. Whoa. So this is the champion, the Hall of Champions. 
Wow, just look at this place. Get out of here, you floppy pig. What is up here? This is a collab between me and Chaffee. Oh, I know this. Do you guys hear that? Oh, I don't know if you can hear that. Um, shoot, I gotta turn the game audio to the right channel. Hang on. How do I do that? Manage sound devices? No, that's not it. Sound settings? App, there we go, app volume. Minecraft, we want this to come out into the cable input. All right, now you guys can hear. Okay, first of all, look what that is. It's Link's house. This, it's playing the Legend of Zelda theme. I think it's underneath this. This is so awesome. Oh! <laughs> oh no. I forgot that beds explode in the nether. Oh no. What did I do? What have I done? <laughs> Oh no! I am so sorry! <laughs> I. <laughs> oh no! I, oh, I can't believe. I can't believe I forgot that. It's been so long! It's been so long! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that's embarrassing is what that is. Wow. <sighs> Thanks, Peter. <laughs> um, yeah, I left my guts where your build once was. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a really cool build up until the moment I wrecked it. <laughs> I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> oh, that was such a fail. <laughs> oh.
Now there's a a giant hole blown in the side of Link's house. <laughs> Did I wreck the music? Hopefully I didn't wreck the music player. No. <gasps> no. What is this? Nuh-uh. Hey, the music still works, even though I blew up the bed. Let's see how many times I can get it going. Yeah, this is, this is harrowing. Seeing all that. I see that big pork chop. The Seven Wither Memorial. Yeah, but it's funny how it's ready to be lit. <laughs> Let's go to the... Uh... Oh, that's cool. Let's go to the... Uh, this, this, this thing, the Champion's Hall. Can't believe I've hit the bed. Ooh. Chaffee's in here. Josh is in here. Dio's in here. We got different famous people. Sir Ted, capitalist pig, champion of the dweller's heart. Lady Chaffee. Season 2 Diamond Champion. Lady Dumb Toast. Season 1 Green Glass Champion. Oh, that's right. Hey, and we got a Contraptionator. Season 1 Cobblestone Champion. By the way, if you want, you can call me Constipationator. <laughs> what? <laughs> just empty Sir Stragus Magus aka Dio Neller season 1 diamond champ The book on the floor I'm going to read the book I'm going to read the book that was on the floor the Potangler by Big Pork Chop. While traveling through these bad land, banished lands, I have come across many things left behind in haste. Once while passing by the quartz flats, I noticed a shiny chest off to the side, hidden away and guarded by piglins. I quickly gathered my trusty blade and dispatched the filthy brood so I could plunder the goodies. But what I found was not good for me at all, for I had found just a journal from a capitalist pig named Ted Basement. Whoa, Kristen with uh, gifted five basement memberships. Thank you so much for that. Also, Peter has to say this. Thank you for becoming a member. That's the kind of humor you can expect in the basement Monday through Friday. Also on Saturday. <laughs> and it was a secret so dastardly evil I could not believe what I was reading. Oh, we got some lore. Lore dump. It stated that the capitalist pig had built this world and invited all to come to try and beat him at his potato quest. But what they did not know would change everything. He decided to add some coding that made all potatoes collected would be deposited into a bank that would be tied to his account, making all the potatoes his. And that potangular was 
Myself! Ha ha! I am the capitalist pig, Ted. And I have stolen all the potatoes. None shall untremble. Y'all shall tremble. I am the capitalist potato king. And no one can stop me. Not even you folks. You got potangled. You got potangled into this. <laughs> now my life is meaningless after this. <laughs> but uh, we do have to look at the, uh, the the at who deposited stuff this season, right? Like, is that? I think we go back to the. <laughs> Pork chop is sad now because I stole his potatoes. That's what he gets for cheating. <laughs> and by cheating, I mean working really, really hard <laughs> at it. <laughs> Ted is going insane. Hey, you know, uh, uh, I was going insane a little bit there, back there. I, I, I've, I've gathered myself back together again. But I'm still a pig. So, that's just who I am now. Um, I'm going to go back to the basement couch. Well, the, the, the pink parallel universe basement couch. And I'm going to turn on TP Auto. And we're going to have a little celebration for the winners of the tops deposits of this season. Um... And then we're gonna, and then we're gonna turn on creative mode, and we're all gonna blow stuff up. It's gonna be great. You guys ready? So uh, I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna warp everybody here against their will. Hello, we're having an award ceremony. And then I'm gonna give everybody creative mode, and you're gonna be able to use dynamite and blow everything up. Wee. Okay. So when it comes to the awards. Um, that's leaders. We have the most diamonds this season deposited by Great Gaming Game. Great Gaming Game is the diamond leader himself. Congratulations, Great Gaming Game, on depositing the most diamonds. Uh, Josh, I did do the world save, yes. And I do have TP Auto on, I think. Oops, now I do. Um, then we have the potato leader. Chaffee deposited the potatoes. Apparently, Chaffee had the most potatoes deposited. But the capitalist pig stole them all! <laughs> Oh, my life is meaningless. <laughs> so, Chaffee, uh, congratulations. Uh, top stats leaders. The most deep slate deposited. Chaffee with 102,646 deep slate deposited. Oh my gosh, that's so much deep slate. Green glass, cha wow, Chaffee, almost a clean sweep. With 59,000 green glass deposited. And then the sneaky, total blocks traveled while crouched. 177,164 blocks traveled while crouched. How did you even do that? Did you just, like, do this all day long <laughs> on the uh, top of the... Uh Top of the nether? That's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, GG to Chaffee. GG to Big Pork Chop for his sneaky, sneaky ways. And GG, uh, GG to GGG. Great gaming game. To Lou. Well done, everybody. Um, okay. We are going to uh, put everybody in creative mode, and we're going to let us blow things up. We're going to kind of blow things up together, because it's fun like that. Um, let's see. Game mode.
creative. I think the double stars is everybody, right? Does everybody have creative mode now? Mm. Game mode. Creative. Everybody's trying. Oh, I don't want to have to do this one at a time for everybody. Oh, at E. Game mode creative at E. Did that work? There we go. Maybe? No. <laughs> okay, that's not working. Um, it might be an essentials command. Hang on. How to change everyone's game mode in Minecraft? Yep. So everybody's got creative now, huh? Or <laughs> Big Pork Chop just got TNT. Okay. <clears throat> Oh yeah, let's just do this. Punching me. Uh, 
Lua Mom Red. Let's see, who did I miss? All right, I think everybody's got it now. All right. Okay, okay. You give everybody creative and immediately there's withers blowing everybody up. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, pink basement couch. Uh, flint. Steel. <laughs> They're blowing up Ted and Peter. Goodbye, Ted and Peter. You will be missed. Maybe. <laughs> Take that, Peter. <laughs> oh. Oh man, goodbye. Oh, I remember building this with everybody. That was, oh, the bridge. Oh, dude, I'm so excited. Let's blow this thing up. I remember spending a lot of time working on this. The storage area. <laughs> oh, all these books, all these enchanted books. chicken farm that we it was like our only source of food for so long memories we're having lots of memories 
and we're blowing them up. Doo -doo -doo. Oh. Whoa. There is a large, like, farm of... Oh! I came up here just in time to... Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> Who did this? That's why the game froze. This cannot handle what is going on. Yeah, that'll lag a server. Who is, who is making giant <laughs> world edit? blobs oh it's these guys yeah that's why the server is blowing up because you guys are creating giant blobs of TNT <laughs> ah! <laughs> such a mess this is such a mess <laughs> that'll do it Getting 60 seconds per frame. Oh, it's you and me. Okay. Oh my gosh. I gotta just slowly load in the explosions here. You hid the dragon egg and logged off. <laughs> I'm going to a different area where it's not so blowy uppy. How about up here? Ah, uh, so calm. Oh, somebody made some sort of. Oh, this got blowed up. <laughs> People came over here for sure to do some damage. Oh, yeah, this. This has been destroyed. I 
I think the server shut itself down. <laughs> Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> what the heck? Guys! The whole server is, like, falling apart at this point. <laughs> you warped here and now you're not in creative anymore. Oh my gosh, the million <laughs> wardens? Yeah, the server is definitely lagging. Wow. Even the wardens are running at a snail's pace. <laughs> this is such a mess. This was spawn. <laughs> <laughs> well, suffice it to say, I think season four of Basement Craft has come to a close. This is, this is a terrible terrible <laughs> turn of events <laughs> so many wardens <laughs> RIP <laughs> Somebody blow up parkour? No, not parkour. Oh, the carnage. All the mayhem. All the blood, sweat, and tears that went into this. <laughs> it's being wiped off of the face of the planet.
Even the Hall of Champions. Hey, all these TNTs never went off. Uh oh, somebody's world editing and stuff again. Awards are going to her head. Oh, Chaffee killed parkour? Chaffee. Shame, shame. And you'll never find my actual base. We're just going to stay here and take in the beauty of this for a little while. So how are everybody doing in the chat? <laughs> uh, Brittany, Hayden, I don't even know what's happening anymore. The world has been completely destroyed. All hope, all... All love. All jelly. Oh, Maddie and Kira, you got stuck out of the server. Oh no. It's it's so broken right now. It just <laughs> I mean, it's at least it's letting me in so you guys can see what's happening. This is just a mess. Let's go to the gaming district and see what's going on there. Ooh. So calm. Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> Let's see how long it takes for that one TNT to explode. Just the whole server is just completely... No, Ted, don't do it. Don't worry, it didn't work. Look at that. Didn't do a thing. I think Games District might actually be... Um, Protect it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the server is so scuffed right now. Just can't handle anything. It's wonderful. Games District, we'll see you again in season five. I never liked playing chess. There was always people beating me at chess. This is my time to strike back. Actually, I do like chess. I think it's just funny to blow it up. <laughs> Why would you do this? So it can all start anew. We have to erase the old to invite the new. <laughs> Just look at how slow this tick speed is. This is really bad. Oh. 
don't even care anymore. Teach me how to play chess. <laughs> I, I'm not good at chess. I enjoy it a little bit. My son Micah is really good at chess. TNT will not destroy claimed blocks. This has been protected by Dio. Whoa. Wow, I'm just, I'm impressed. All of this redstone to make this whole thing work is just incredible. Oh, hungry, hungry piggos. I love these guys. To blow up. Oh, the giant warden. See if the server can catch up. I was going to give you the idea of Poop Shark. And if he dies, it'll be Zelda Cannon, but the no more present. Oh, the president. Oh, now they're exploding. Oh no. Oh, the water protected a lot of them. Oh wait, never mind. They're all leg dying. protected them boom <laughs> all right let's go blow up the giant warden he's so happy whoa a little bit of lag Great gaming game. Um, I'm still putting together what that's going to look like. But I'll figure out something to make it uh, worthwhile for folks. But I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing with that. So more, more to come out on that soon. Basically, I had to kind of finish this one out first before I could think too much further about the future of basement craft. We'll light it like a candle. It's going to take forever, though. <laughs> this poor server. Oh. That one disappeared. Well, there we go. 
one explosion. Red Rexy, haven't been ignoring you. I'm just uh, very overwhelmed by everything that's going on in the surfer being uh, very chaotic. Oh, feels good though to say goodbye to season four finally. Took us a while to get here, but we did it. We did it, folks. Fell right down inside. Oh! I blowed him up. Your bee farm has survived all the TNT so far. Yeah, it'll keep crashing. This is just how this season end stuff always goes. I'm being blown up by a YouTuber. What an honor. This isn't Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> yeah, we lifted his face right off of his body. You thought it was Sunday today? It's Saturday. All you gotta remember is that if I'm streaming, it's on Saturday. Except for this week when it was on Monday and Thursday as well. Goodbye, Giant Warden. We will see you again in Hyrule Craft. Which I love. I love the fact that he'll be making a return. He's been ripped apart straight down the middle. Like the giant warden he is. Let's see how Spawn is doing. Oops. This is this all that's left? Oh, oh. oh! I keep accidentally going in. Oh, 
all the heartbeats of those wardens. <laughs> Look at this little pig getting like just demolished by warden beams. He just got yeeted off the side of spawn. Goodbye, little guy. See you later, Joseph. Your name is Joseph now. Well, I think with that, we'll go ahead and say that this is the end of the stream, as well as the end of Season 4 of Basement Craft. Stay, uh, stay tuned on the Basement's different uh, channels, Discord channel, uh, community posts and stuff for information on uh, when Hyrule Craft is going to launch. <laughs> and uh, till next time, Basement Dwellers, I think that you guys are more... Hmm. Catastrophic than if you give 30 people creative mode in a Minecraft server, which is saying something. In the basement! <laughs>